When a DNA test shows she carried the genes for cancer, she had surgery to help save her life. But that was a mistake. All new at 11, ABC Action News anchor Dia Riley has this woman's cautionary tale. This woman is learning decades later the results of her DNA test were wrong. She does not carry the gene that causes breast cancer. Now she has a warning to protect you and your health. Maureen Bozen has always known cancer risk was high in her family. My grandmother actually passed away from ovarian cancer when she was 44. She had five sisters and none of them lived at the age of 50. And then my mother uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 32. Because of their family history, Maureen and her sisters took part in a research study at a university in the Midwest. My siblings and I all went to um, have our blood drawn when we were like, three, five, seven. We were all tested in the same exact room. Um, I can remember what the room looked like. They could receive their DNA test results when they turned 18. We felt empowered to be able to find out. The sisters each got their results at around age 21. One was negative for the deadly gene mutation. Two came back positive, including Maureen. She was devastated. The first question out of my mouth was, is there any chance this could be wrong? And the researcher said no. And so Maureen decided to get a preventative double mastectomy at age 23. She married, had three children, but was never able to breastfeed. But the gene also affects the ovaries. And so um, the right thing to do and what the doctors recommend is to have a complete hysterectomy by the age of 35. And I was in my early 30s. Before that surgery, insurance wanted a new DNA test done. Everyone knew it would come back positive, except it didn't. I was at work, and the first thing she said was, we need to talk. And my heart just sank. And she said, you're negative. And I just started bawling. She got another test and another. Those were negative, too. That first test, even though she was told it could not be wrong, was wrong. I wish what I had been told was, if you don't trust it, get another test. But that's not what I was told. If you had testing 10 years ago, we probably need to update you, so make sure you're asking those questions. Dr. Jennifer Klimp has been working in the field of cancer genetics since 1997. While she was not involved in Maureen's early study, she says she's not surprised there was an error. 20 years ago when we sent in our first mm -hmm. tests, BRCA1 and 2 were the two genes that you tested for. Um, about 30 to 40 percent of the time, we would get something called a variant of uncertain significance. And basically that meant we found a mutation or an error in the, the, the DNA. Today, in a reputable lab, that should be less than one to two percent. Maureen obviously did not have the hysterectomy. My life could have been so different. My life has been great. I'm incredibly fortunate. I'm blessed, but it just could have been different. Dia Riley, ABC Action News.